Hey guys, so with the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus, Samsung introduced a new AI assistant called as Bixby, which permanently sits on your home screen. And not only that, they also added a separate physical button just for their new AI assistant. So by pressing this button, it's gonna take you straight to the Bixby home and uh, basically doesn't even unlock the phone. So it's uh, pretty fast. Apart from Bixby, we do have another AI assistant, which is called as the Google Assistant. A lot of people prefer Google Assistant over the Bixby. So if you're not gonna use Bixby, then what about this new mechanical button? Can you remap this button to any other application or an action other than Bixby? Well, the answer is yes, yes you can. Yes you can! You can pretty much assign any application or any action you want to assign to this Bixby button, for example, Instagram or camera. So in order to remap the Bixby button, you have to install this application called as BX Action, specifically designed for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. It's gonna say, please activate BX Action. So you're gonna click on it and it's gonna take you straight to the accessibility. Scroll down, you're gonna see services, which is currently off for the BX Action. And all you have to do is to turn it on. And uh, this this would allow this application to remap the keys. So once you allow it, you're just gonna go back to the application and now it says, now enjoy, press on it. So you got four options here. You can stop the application if you have the uh, remapped buttons. Uh, so of course we haven't done that. You can also check out their help and support. And of course we do have a uh, lock screen uh, thing for Samsung phone, but we're gonna go ahead and go into remap section. And as you can see, we have the Bixby button. Uh, this is specifically for the Bixby key, okay? Not for your volume rocker or your power button. So uh, you're gonna have uh, these three options. Uh, first, single press. So for single press, you, uh, currently it is disabled. So uh, we can go ahead and uh, make it as a home key, back key, Google Now, or camera. So uh, let's say if I set it to Google Now, and let's see, we go back and press this. As you can see, it opens up Google now. Back to the application. So we have the second option called as long press. So with long press, you can also set up different stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch some application with it. As you can see, it shows me all the list of the applications that I've installed on my device. So let's say if I set Snapchat to the long press action, let me just try it out here. Long pressing it and there we go, Snapchat opened up. And then we have a third way of using Bixby, which is double press. So uh, going here, we can uh, launch a camera, which could be good, but uh, currently we do have the power button set to double tap. So I don't really think that we have to do that with the camera. I'm gonna go into launch application and let's see if I set Instagram to it because I use Instagram a lot. Let's uh, quickly press this uh, button, double tap. And as you can see, it takes me straight to the Instagram and let's try it out here on the home screen or lock screen when the phone is locked. So if I double press it, uh, obviously I need to unlock my phone first and it takes me straight to the Instagram. And I have to say it works flawlessly. We do have another method called as all in one gesture, but uh, this one is slow. It does work, but it is slow. And you know, you press it, it press the Bixby button. It takes around like three or four seconds to launch the application. So if you wanna do it, do it with the Bix, uh, BX action. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect solution for your Bixby button. So right now there is no way you can get rid of the Bixby on the home screen. There's no option to uh, turn it off. You can check out Hello Bixby cards or Bixby on the lock screen, but uh, really there's no way to, you know, uh, stop Bixby or turn it off completely. So it's gonna stay there. Obviously Samsung will improve Bixby. It, they will add more features to it and maybe it'll become your favorite thing on the phone. But I mean, Google now is uh, now Assistant is, uh, is pretty great. I mean, Google Assistant is pretty great and uh, it does its job pretty well. And if you're not that kind of AI person, you can uh, basically set up custom action at least. Uh, in, apart from you know dealing with this you can set up custom actions like single press double press or long press so yeah that's how you remap the big speed button on your galaxy s8 or the s8 plus um if you guys enjoyed this tutorial then uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new to the channel and i'll see you guys later peace out